fathers. Not only are the fathers to teach them, but the fathers are to train their children. We have to be careful and watch closely and not forget the things we have learned and don't let them fade from our hearts as long as we live and live our lives. Amen. There's some things that you was trained in when you was younger that you have to use today. Amen. So I was taught as a little boy how to iron clothes. We was taught how to match up our outfits. There's was five boys and one girl. Amen. And if one of them little ones had on some red socks with some, with, with some, with some other greens, the mama, would, mama would, would, would get me or the older boy. What? I don't go to yellow man. You don't get this. What she ain't make? Come here, boy. Them <laughs> that shoes on the wrong feet. <laughs> mama, 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 mama was not going to get him. She going to get me. Or, or the other one. We had to pull an inspection. <laughs> Post up here, boy. Let me see what you Come here like your feet all. <laughs> come here, boy. Come here. Come here. Get us killed, boy. Come here. <laughs> but see, we got trained in that. So people are like, all your stuff always match. Mm. You think? I'm talking about all the kids that they got there now because he, he, he matched them all. He had little, he got little Jordan socks and, and little Jordan tennis shoes and, and little shorts and little t shirt and you know, all this stuff matching all the girls. Yo, son, how he looking like? Where did he get it from? <laughs> from her? She raised him. I didn't. She did. That's, that's her product. He think he got it on his own, he got it from her. <laughs> she tell him, I tell him, boy, come here, I don't go to yell, come here. <laughs> clean up your shoe, he think he's think he the shoe cleaning king. No, I said, shoe cleaning king right there. Shoe cleaning queen. He got it from her. <laughs> Amen. That right there. Tell the truth, shame the devil. Amen. See, they, see, they think they got, they think because they got it down, and, they, and that's who they, what they known for. Yo, no, you was watching mama the whole time, Joe. Stop. Watching daddy the whole time. Amen. Amen. See, he says, bring them up in your training and instruction of the Lord. Amen. And we, as fathers, got to teach them and instruct them. Amen. Go, 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 do Rami for them. Deuteronomy 4, verse 9. I'm almost done. Y'all still here? Amen. I gotta go deep. It's only half of them. Doug had a connection with me. 4 and 9. Because I can't, I can't teach it all in one sentence because y'all ain't gonna sit still all long enough. Some of y'all already ready, ready to go eat some chicken. Amen. Okay? Verse 9. Deuteronomy 4, verse 9. And it says, only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. Amen? <laughs> See, God at birth has a way for us to go. And as parents, we have to put in labor. We got to put in the work. We got to teach our children in the things of God because they are supposed to use that training. They got to use that teaching. They got to use that instruction, not only in the race that they got to run, but in the, in the lives that they have to live. Amen. Y'all need to hear me. See, it's just not about a race. It's about living your life according to in the instructions and training and teaching that should have come from our parents or our daddies. Amen. And today, 70% of our homes have no instructors in them. Amen. And most of those that do are not instructing them in the things of God. I'm going to say it again. Amen. Some of y'all pay attention. 70% of our homes have no fathers in them. Which I said have no instructors in them. Talking about they ain't got no daddy instructing them kids 
how to how how to how to do what they're supposed to do so they can run their race and live their life. Amen. Amen. And most of the ones and the other ones that do got a father in them, they're not teaching them the things of God. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Amen. Now, teach them how to be a man. That's 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 okay. Amen. We can take care of ourselves. But there's, there's, there's a higher calling. Amen. There's a higher calling in teaching them the things of God. Amen. Because when you, when you learn the things of God, you learn stuff the right way. Amen. Go to Psalms 37. Last one. I'm done. Psalm 37, verse 23. Amen. Amen. But he said that he leads us in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Amen. Amen. 37 and 23. Psalm 37, 23. And it says, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Yes. And he delighteth in his, in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord upholdeth him with, 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 with his hand. Amen. Amen. See, God is the orderer of our steps. The, see, the, the, the computer wouldn't let me use that word. It kept throwing that word out. I said, no, no. God is the orderer. Amen. Amen. It's just like you go out to eat and you order your food. Okay? Now, I try not to order for my family. We go out to eat. I order mine, they order their own stuff. I got to check. One, I got to check somebody by ordering stuff. I order. Could be. Right? I hire stuff on the meal. You, you order stuff that costs more than mine. I'm the one paying for the meal. Well, I'm going to get the tea wrong. No. No. That's $28. Okay. And you'll get a cheeseburger to keep on food with me. <laughs> or from the kids' meal. <laughs> I ain't playing with you. We try here all the time. I'm going to go start starting with China. That's your feet. Amen. 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 See, God is the order of, of our steps. That is why we have to run the race that is set before you. You hear this part. You hear another part. You hear this part right here. That's why we have to run the race that is set before us. Hear me now. God set the race. God set the race. And then set the race in front of you. And you got no one amen, boy. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go on. Okay. It's a setup. It's a setup. God set the race. He set it up for you and then set the race in front of you. Still a getaway, man. It's already won. All you have to do is finish the course. Yes, sir. Amen. That's all you got to do. Amen. Just like any marathon race. The race is going to go through the city. There's going to be traffic. There's going to be people. It's going to go out through the country. There's going to be some hills, some streets, some rocks, maybe some animals. But you got to endure the inflictions that you got to go through on your course that was set by God for you. Yeah. Then he puts you in it. Amen. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, ready to God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. There will be good days. There will be good days. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got some hills to climb. Yes, sir. There'll be good days, there'll be bad days. But you have to stay on the course yes. and finish your race. Yes. He said we got to keep the faith and run the race that is set before you. Amen? Amen. 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 Amen.